Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again and this time we are going to be going as good old Apollyon. Apollyon indeed. Apollyon can be a little bit of a half one starting with only 2 HP but he does have obviously a very very good starting item so it's not all bad um, and obviously this is The Streak so I'm going to have to play a bit uh, better than normal uh, and recently I've not been playing too well so... That doesn't bird entirely well for me, I'll be honest, but I will try my darndest to do well. I will try my darndest, um, and hopefully, hopefully we can make something good happen. As for the question of the day today, that is, that, that in itself is a good question. Um, hmm. If you could keep an animal as a pet that isn't a typical animal that people keep as pets, what would it be? Mine would definitely be a monkey. I realize that some people do have monkeys as pets, but like I just find monkeys so fascinating. Um, like just they're just so smart and like so interesting, and it'd be it'd be really cool to like be able to interact with them on a regular basis. Um, just just really even like a like I know it's not like a super irregular pet again here, but like a crow would be really cool because crows are just like I just I just love to have a pet that's like quite intelligent. Um, I know that like dogs and stuff can be really intelligent, but it's not it's not quite to the same degree. Um, I suppose it depends on how you train them and how they're bred sort of thing, but it's not quite to the same degree. I will take this um, on a gamble here. Unfortunately, we just got that, which is kind of fine. Um, hold up. Okay, so I think I, I think I want to do this. Take out you two first. And then I want to go and try and slip my, uh, my tears in here and hit the barrel. There you go. Okay, a little bit tricky here. I think I'm, I want to do that with all of these. I want to kill the mini dudes first and then slip my, my tears in, which is, is kind of quite difficult. Yeah. There you go. It's a little bit difficult, but I think it's the absolute best way to go forward with this without it being an absolute pain. I mean, the room's literally over now, so I don't even have to complete it, but I'd rather. I can hit it twice and then do that, yeah. Little bit of a weird room. One, two, and then... <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Weird room, but we got through it. Uh, it hurts. Honestly, I'll avoid that and hope for the best. We got damage and speed. I'm pretty happy with that. It hurts is actually a pretty decent item, but at the minute, I really don't want to be obviously relying on anything that's an on-hit effect. I don't think that's the best idea for us. Um, and obviously, Void can let you down sometimes with the stats it gives you, but I think anything that includes damage or fire rate is always going to be a good grab, especially considering damage gives you plus one, which is about the same, if not more, than some damage upgrades. Um, so I, I think overall that works out pretty goddamn well. Um, we're not going to get another charge, unfortunately, ready for, um... Ooh, yes. I'm going to go in here and then use the uh, card to get out if I need to. Oh, yeah. I'm going to need to use that. Chill out, my guy. Right, we'll take the pills as well here. That's not great. Uh, unfortunately, I can't take the other one now. Okay, so this this could very well come the end of our streak here. I knew that was a risk and that could have happened, but I was like, nah, it won't happen. Right, we got to hope we don't get a bad boss here, because otherwise the streak is up. Unfortunately, this isn't the easiest of bosses, but... The good thing about this boss is I don't think he has any way to deal a full heart of damage to me apart from direct contact. Um, and also, we do have a damage up on him now, so it shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't be too bad. Right, just take it easy with these guys. And then just, just play it nice and slow. I, I realise the... Um, the honey creep is going to cause issues. That was almost quite bad. I really don't like the amount of stuff this, this one spawns. Good that you can crash into the poops there, isn't it? Right. Unfortunately, that doesn't really improve our situation, but the speed is nice. Um, yeah. This is this is really unfortunate. That this this could easily come to an end pretty quickly via a champion enemy. I've just got to play it slow and easy, and hope that I can get away from any particularly bad danger with my life. 
I'm hoping that this damage up helps us a lot, but this is our first real touching cloth moment that we've had in uh, in our series in a little while. I mean, that, that uh, run we had was a Dark Judas run was a little bit touch and go for a little while, but at least we had Dark Arts to keep us going. With this, we don't have anything. And that is a champion there as well, so we cannot be hit by that guy. I wish he would die. My bomb there, that's good, because at least now if we found a Tinted Rock, we have access to it. We just gotta kinda hope for that now. Good, good. No Tinted Rocks as of yet, unfortunately. That's another champion right there. Unfortunately, a champion that's not particularly easy to avoid either. Luckily, we did get him. We don't have a key at the moment, so that's not great. Not ideal at all. I don't know why he did that, then. That was weird. Come on, Tinted Rocks. You know you want to show up. My god, how did I not get hit, then? How did I not get hit, then? Okay, thank god they don't deal damage outside of rooms, because that scared the shit out of me. Okay. We might not even get a key for this floor, so that's not going to be great. Uh, secret room, I suspect, to be here, actually. Um... I'm not really seeing a better place it could be, so I'm going to try this out and hope for the best. This is good. That's a very good poop right there. Um, we can bomb into here. And I don't know what I'd want from this, but... Do you know what, Gimpy? It's it's not exactly the best, but it does help us. Uh, and we're going to be looking for a key to get into our shop here. Because getting into our shop could buy us the soul heart we need to survive, so try our best. These spiked rocks will deal full heart damage, so stay the hell away from them. Very, very careful swapping between rooms here. Okay, this isn't actually that bad a room. It looks pretty awful, but yeah, that allows us to get through it easily. Good. Unfortunately, no tinted rocks or keys on this entire floor, which spells trouble for us. It does indeed spell trouble for us. Uh, we can bomb into our cash room here. A little bit risky based on what happened last time, but I will do it. Just for the chance at soul hearts. I mean, I'm not particularly happy with this. What's that thing in the middle there? Oh, we did get a key. Nice. Um... We'll check this out in a second, right? Just drop it here and see what it does. When a Devil Deal doesn't appear after feeding a floor's boss, the boss item is turned into an Angel item for sale or a Devil Deal. Um, that's that's actually not great for us. We kind of want our boss items right now uh, for HP, so I'm not going to grab that. We did get a Soul Heart. That does save us. And... Uh, the rewards card is kind of good. Notched Axe is really good too, but I don't think I'd want to uh, trade Void for it. So I think I'm going to take this. And we're now in a position of relative safety, at least. And we can go ahead and take on our boss. I feel better now. This still doesn't put us in, in the absolute clear. But there's still multiple ways we could easily die here, but it makes me feel a lot better. Good, good. Just keep throwing out your buddies and we'll keep destroying them. Works out for me. Lovely stuff. And we did... This is a bit risky, because this can give us some pretty bad pills, but it's a damage up and a HP up, so I think we take it. Seems like we got all good stuff there. Seems like all of that was, was in our favour. Okay. Okay. We are back in the running for a decent run here. I'm not going to check Devil Deal at this point. Maybe now I take the, um, I take the Polaris thing. I don't know if it's a good trinket, to be honest, so I'm, I'm going to take it anyways. And I'm going to see if I can work around it. Uh, basically, I need enough money to make an Angel Deal spawn work for us, so, um, it, it might not be great. But I, I think, I think we can, I think we can somewhat make this work. One moment, I have multiple messages incoming, apparently. Lovely stuff. Uh, right, one second. I need to pause real quick. Okay, let's continue on. Um, 
Well, we're in a better position here. We're still not safe by any means, but our damage is significantly better now, which is really, really nice. Um, and that health down pill didn't end up being the end of us, which is really good, because health down pills early on on a character like this is why I say that this character's got a little bit of risk associated with him. Um, because, yeah, just having... Um, Having one heart means you're susceptible to stuff like that. That was a really, really, really good herming hit there. My god. I'm really not a fan of these enemies, man. <laughs> like, this one's a champion as well, so he can one-shot our heart away from us. I'd really like to blow up that barrel that's next to him, but it's not seeming feasible right now. Joker is kind of an interesting one here. I don't know if Joker would take us to an angel deal at this point, so I'm not going to grab that for now. In fact, I'm going to drop Polaris as well because I've not got money. I'll pick it back up when I do get money. Otherwise, I'm going to forget I have it and end up uh, getting an angel deal that I can't afford instead of a boss item, which would be pretty useful. Dude, can we stop it with like all of the enemies having herming, please? This is really not conducive to my success right now at all. This is, this is genuinely an awful, awful room right now. Dude, chill. Just die. Yeah. What a difficult room. Paper-thin walls, this one's called. I think that's because the enemies can shoot over all the walls. Good, good. We got it. And we do have a key to go straight in here as well. Lovely. Bob's heart in no way I'm taking that thing. Bob's heart is fucking dreadful. <laughs> I'll just use this to teleport in here to see if there's anything we want. And there is indeed a soul heart in there, so we'll come back for that. Uh, but yeah, ain't no way I'm taking that. Like, I have had that item before and it's not been good, but that does mean I can void it up. I kind of forgot about that. Speed and shot speed, obviously not the greatest. Our speed is already sort of tipping out at what, what, I, what I'd say are acceptable levels. So we kind of don't want to get any more speed after this, but we're at the whim of the game, so we can't really decide if we want to get speed or not. It's just whatever the game wants for us. Chill, my guy. There you go. Hey, that's enough to get a soul heart as well. Lovely stuff. Okay. More than enough. I mean, I wonder what item's in there, because maybe an item will be better than a soul heart. I didn't really check the items, because I was more focusing on the HP. But we'll go and check. Oh, goddammit. Runs a bit of a maze here. We go all the way around the outside. Um, honestly, I think this is better than a soul heart right now. Um, we might even still be able to afford the soul heart, but this being able to give us options between our boss rooms, especially when we've got so many boss rooms left, I think makes a hell of a lot of sense. We do have some bomb spiders here, and quite a lot of bomb rocks as well, so let's be careful of that. Good. That's actually kind of nice to have the bomb rocks get destroyed. really annoys when spiders just decide not to come after you. It's like, I kind of want to bait you into me to make it a bit easier to kill you. And you're like, nah, don't really feel like it. You need to chill out, my guy. Yeah, way too many of them you're spawning. Luckily, we're getting a, a good amount of chests here, which is pretty useful. See, one more coin and we can afford that soul heart anyways. So it was the right choice. It was indeed the right choice. What does this guy do? Okay, nothing. If he doesn't uh, shoot. Thought it was going to split out into a bunch of different spiders or something. Yeah, these guys can't really do anything either. A lot of extra red hearts as well, thanks to Gimpy and everything else that's going on with our room drops. I mean, we're getting pretty lucky with our room drops, even with just one look, which is rather nice. Extra key, nice. We do indeed have our void ready as well. Okay, these guys are a little annoying. Not too bad. For some reason, this always lags the game loads. Good, good. Don't know if that poison can hurt me, but... Not looking to find out. That was a weird jump that you made there, good sir. Dude, these goddamn spiders, man. Um... The fuck? What actually hit me there? Very, very confused on what hit me there. I was stood on top of the white creep, which is slowing creeps. I'm really not sure why I got hit, but unfortunately, our angel deal this floor seems uh, unlikely. But let's uh, shop our way back over here. I could try and find secret room as well here. Nope, you're not. 
Polaris, you're not ready right now. Oh, for God's sake. Just drop it somewhere where I'm not going to accidentally pick it up, please. There you go. Lovely. And honestly, we might as well buy a one cent key. Why wouldn't we? It is pretty darn cheap. Um, we do use quite a lot of keys. Uh, just going to check here for secret room real quick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's here. Lovely stuff. Ooh, a burn heart as well. Nice. Rather useful for us. Can fill it up straight away as well. I guess I'll blow you up for an extra bit of chance at Angel Deal. It's not a lot, but we've got some money out of you as well, which is nice. Um, and yeah, I'm hoping that um, options here gives us some actually good boss items to choose between, because that would be rather lovely. I'll just grab all these as well. Why not? Nothing, unfortunately. Yeah, I, 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 someone's going to need to sh uh, let me know what I actually got hit by in that room there. I'm sure it was super obvious to you guys. It just wasn't super obvious to me. <laughs> Extra black hearts, really nice. Oh, hello. Unfortunately, we don't have the bombs to take this out right now. We've just used two of our bombs that we probably would have rather used on this, but... We're one bomb off, so if this room does give us a bomb drop as a reward, then we actually are fine. Can you stop appearing somewhere where it's hard to hit you? Unfortunately not, but I will, I will grab this. Um, and I'll see if I can grab that. There wasn't a bomb in the shop, was there? There was a sack, though. The sack could end up paying out. And make sure not to use any bombs on this guy, as tempting as it is. Unfortunately, this guy... Still a boss that, I don't know if he has been reworked by Rework first, but still a boss that I think could use some reworking. He's just not very fun to fight, especially when he does shit like that. Obviously, he just plops his red poops around everywhere and makes things more difficult. He's, he's just one of those bosses that, like, begs to be, uh, like, bombed. But we don't want to use a bomb right now, so it's kind of annoying. He's unfortunately placed his red poops pretty strategically here to be the most annoying things possible. He's going to enter his second phase very shortly. Where he just starts dashing around like a madman. There you go. He started it. Kind of hard as a hit like this, to be honest. Because he, uh, you can't really bait his dashes properly. You just kind of have to go with the flow. But, he seems to be kind of stuck in a loop back down there. Doesn't seem to be coming into this top corner too easily. Okay, as soon as I say that, he fucking gets right into the top corner. Can you chill? Oh, for fuck's the goddamn red poops. Oh my god, this guy needs to chill out. You got like one hit left, dude. Can stop. Okay. Now, this is tricky. This is genuinely tricky. Damage, or I'm going to go with this because it's, it's some HP as well. Oh, and it's good HP too, baby. Okay. We're going to quickly scoot Annie back over to the shop, which I realize this is a lot of back and forth. It's a little bit annoying. We're going to scoot Annie back to the shop. We're going to buy the sack for, I think it was four cent um, on our discounts that we've got going on. And then off of the back of that, we'll hopefully get a bomb so we can quad bomb our mushroom and get an item, which hopefully will be mag magic mush. Uh, oh, God, sorry, wrong way again. We'll buy that. We did get a bomb, but it's a copper bomb, which is not ideal, because there's a 50% chance it just won't blow up, so... We've just got to gamble with this one and hope for the best, I guess. There's not much else we can do. Of course, we could take a double gamble and look for the second secret room and hope that has bombs in it, but I feel like that's just not super likely. I'm pretty sure I know where it is, though. It's just not, it's not a super likely outcome. Right, copper bomb, do not fail me now. You bitch. Wait, actually, does blowing it up count as two explosions? Maybe. I don't think it does. Oh, it does! Okay, we got God's Flesh, unfortunately, which isn't great. We do get these, uh, thingies, the speed down. I actually don't mind that. My speed was quite high. Hey! Telepills right into here as well. Lovely. Um, we do have a Joker card somewhere about, don't we, sir? So we probably just want to use that. The top hat is unfortunate, because I would kind of like to keep the top hat. Um... I thought that one crashed again, then. Unitemesis. Nice. I guess I should pop this down, because unfortunately I don't have use for it otherwise. I mean, we've got a free soul heart, which is pretty good. And we've got a golden card here as well, which I don't actually know how the golden card works. Activates a random tarot card and uses a 20% chance to disappear. 
Okay, so it can't it can't use a bunch of those cards. Okay, so Sun. Wow. This is a good card thus far. It's a good card. All righty then. All righty then. No way. This is a very good card. Okay. Please give us Petrified Poop. We can probably afford money equals power now though. But if we get Petrified Poop here, we're really having a good time. That's Petrified Poop. Lovely. We can buy that now. Awesome. You gave us a Soul Heart as well. Oh my god. The streak, man. It's so lucky. And then money equals power is going to go hard here. My god. This has been pretty beautiful. Easily up to 99 coins, pretty much. There you go. Easy does it. And we will keep popping our golden card. Ah, I lost my Joker card. God damn it. Genuinely don't know what just happened. I'm not sure. Did I just get a 5 room effect there? I think. Well, anyways. That was... Pretty fucking good. Yeah, I got a, I got a five room, I think. But then I got an XL floor, so it didn't really, I didn't really gain much out of that, unfortunately. I guess I get an extra boss item and an extra item room, so not terrible. I keep forgetting Angel Wings doesn't actually give you flight. I don't think we left too much behind there. And we've got piercing now as well, which is amazing. I mean, Angel Wings is a very, very strong item. In Angel Wings, Angel Feathers, whatever it's called. It's very good. Ow. We should be A-OK. -okay. I think the rest of this run is, is, is pretty much fine now. Oh, again, don't have flights. Stop walking on those. A lot of extra bombs there, lovely. A lot of extra money we don't need. Make sure to keep a few keys. Don't want to use them all on this. As long as it keeps giving us keys back though, I'm pretty happy. That's a pretty good card. Spirit Shackle, okay. We'll definitely reroll that. And we got whatever the hell that is. I've never seen that before. Spawns a hog that wanders towards the closest enemy in the room. After five seconds, it explodes with a gigabomb explosion. What the fuck? I mean, I've got to try that out. That sounds hilarious. Nuke pig. <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> that's so silly, I love it. Got a lot of mushroom tissue about here. We got God's flesh again. <laughs> Probably should have rerolled that using the um, using the occult card. To be honest, I'm gonna leave that there. Unfortunately, uh, I'll take my mushroom tissue once I've sort of seen the rest of the floor. I don't want to get telepills and get yeeted out of the floor. Okay. Keep this bad boy going. Yeah, this is this is what min maxing gets you, man. You just got to min max, and everything will happen that you want to happen. Item room number uno. When we get sad onion. I'm pretty happy with sad onion. A lot of extra fire rate. Thank you. Not gonna play you. I think you're a bit cheaty for my taste, especially on a streak. I'll do it if I'm in dire need of it, but when I'm already rich, I'm not gonna abuse it. Hmm. 
Hmm. Bomb that bad boy open. Well, that's a pretty useful thing to grab right now, because then I can go in here and uh, pop it. Soul of the forgotten. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Just doing this so I can void up the key. Why not? Extra damage, lovely. And seven. Got a soul heart back. And we'll grab our occult card and we'll be on our way. We don't need to play the machine for any more money, to be honest. That would just be unnecessary. And we could, but... I think we're fine right now. That's all our mushroom flesh. Like I said, I'll come back and use all of those later, but... But right now, I, d I don't want to. It's just not much need yet. But yeah, this this has been a, a bit of a bit of a crazy little run here. Bit of a crazy little run. I need to open up my Discord to see my messages. Still nothing yet. Okay. Don't need no pills right now, thank you. I am sitting very pretty. I can never tell with the angel feathers thing if the powers randomize or if they're all in order. I feel like they are in order. Birthright, using void as a chance to spawn an item that was previously voided, does not remove the stat bonus. Um, the more items voided, the higher the chance for an item to be spawned on use. Well, we can at least do this to save some money. My god. It seriously just gave us this. We really don't need this, but thank you. I don't think these can be luck pennies or anything. This is, there's really not much point in doing this. We'll keep spawning anyways. That rock is so powerful. It lasts for so goddamn long. You can see it's still going. And we'll check this out. Canes of the Rye is pretty good. Yeah, I'll take it. It's pretty good. Check this for anything. Bow. The sun doesn't really help us too much right now. Right, boss time, and then we'll come back to those um, mushroom tissues. And see what's what with them. Look at my little random ass angel feathers going with me. It's nice. It's rather nice. And we'll, uh... Get what we can from our uh, options as well here. Hopefully something good. Where is the boss? Wait, what? Oh, god damn, it's all the way up there. I didn't I didn't even see that room. I mean, to be fair, I probably did originally, but that room just doesn't look like it could lead towards the boss. That one seemed far more likely, so we're all the way back over here again. A little bit annoying, but luckily we have good enough speed to make it not too tedious. Well, some of these still explode after you leave the room. Luckily, it doesn't deal damage to you, though. You seem to have maybe thought about that prior. Cool, and boss time. We got tears up or health plus damage. I think I'm going to go for tears because we're near a max. There you go, we hit, we hit max there. Take out you. Goddamn, our damage right now is amazingly good. Then here we get damage, which we'll take, and I'm pretty sure we've been here already. Yes, we have. Okay, we've got a Tinted Rock there, apparently. Lovely. And Magic Mush. Oh, we did get Small Rock, though. Quite happy with Small Rock. Although that wasn't that much damage, really. Okay, we, now we got to go and take all of our Mushroom Fleshes and see what terrible pills befall us. Next room, is it? Yeah. Balls of steel. Pretty fly, lovely. Balls of steel again. Speed up. Well, that was all sorts of amazing, thank you. Right, we'll be on our way now, then. Well, this, this, this whole shebang 
This whole craziness based off of this golden card was just stupendously good. That golden card was just mwah. It just absolutely changed the outcome of this run. <laughs> For the better, I may add. Oh, I've got to kill the ghosts first, I see. But yeah, we have very, very good damage right now as well. 13.69. Max fire rate as well. It's it's all sorts of good right now. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll let's keep our key for now for our item room. I'm not that bothered about purchasing at the shop considering we'll always lose damage. But I was going to say, if we get another key, I'll check it out. And we get Sacrificial Effigy. Ooh, I've got an idea. If I do this, and then, can I do that? Yeah, okay, nice. Um, Sinner's Sight is going to gain a Terming, uh, Fear. Uh, feared enemies take extra damage. Lovely. And then I'm going to take this, use it once, and then suck it up. And we got Bob's Heart that we can suck up once again. Not bad. The Queen of Clubs here. Now nah, we're fine for Queen of Clubs, thank you. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, we, we've now got Herming plus Fear, and if an enemy is feared, it takes 1.5 times extra damage, so that's pretty good. This is just Depths 1, so we can go straight up all this. Lovely stuff. Marbles is... I don't know, marbles? Do we want marbles? Yeah, why not? It spawns a bunch of trinkets, and oh, it gives us sigil, and it gives us open mind as well. Okay, okay. We get golden sigil of Baphomet straight off the bat. I'm definitely taking that. Open mind is pretty goddamn good too, but it's a little bit too late. Uh, Imp Soda I'll take as well here, because Imp Soda's good stuff. Okay, I'd say we're sitting pretty right now, especially getting Sigil here. Sit I don't actually know if Golden Sigil does anything extra. I don't know if uh, having Golden Sigil actually helps, but the Sigil as it is is good. So whether it's gold or not, like whether it has a gold effect or not, like, we're still happy to have it. So we shall keep going. And then in here, how to jump, we'll definitely go for the... Um, the reroll here. We get Mr. Dolly, which we actually don't need, so I'm going to suck up and get potentially better stats. Because as you can see, we got a fire rate bonus there, and it actually goes over our maximum fire rate. The health obviously would have been nice, but the fire rate we gained from the item wouldn't have actually given us any, so... I don't know what this is going to be. Um, probably um, Sad Onion. No. Instead of receiving items after defeating a boss, you gain permanent flat damage boost. That's maybe good, because we're not going to get that many additional bosses at this point. Um, just getting flat damage could be quite good. Nah, it's, it's not... I don't think it's quite enough in terms of the amount of damage we gain. If it was one damage, I think I'd consider it more, but 0 0.8 just doesn't quite feel like enough to make it worthwhile. I know that the difference between those two numbers is not exactly that high, but still... Lovely bit of soul heartness there. Yeah, this this run went from being a little bit risky bisky to being probably one of the better runs we've had on the streak so far. Really gonna make me fight through this bullshit. More money. I will take that as well, thank you. Again, not like we need more money, but I will take it when it appears. I'll definitely take that key as well. We kind of need that. Right. We are good to go, people. We are good to go. This looks secret roomy to me. Let's try that out. It is indeed. Couldn't care less about the extra money. We've been fine on money for quite some time. I guess we could play this guy. Lovely stuff, thank you. Only had to pay five towards him as well, which is pretty goddamn useful. Look at all those trinkets. Imagine if we could smelt more of those. Unfortunately, we don't have like a blood bank on this floor, and we don't have red hearts anyways, because we could get if we could get all these smelted, 
My god, that'd be very, very nice, especially the Open Mind one. Like I said, Open Mind's a little bit too late, though. It's one of those trinkets that if you get it early on, it's absolutely god tier. But um, later in the game, it doesn't mean too much anymore. Our shot speed has gotten pretty wacky as well here, as you can see. Our shot speed has reached um, new heights. We do not need the burn heart. Although, actually, no, do you know what? I'll take the burn heart. Another one of these. These things are pretty common this run. We get a ghost baby, which I'll suck up for some more damage. And shot speed has reached uh, two now. Which I don't, it isn't obviously great because herming plus high shot speed isn't ideal. But it's, it's clearly not that bad, really. It's not doing too much to hurt us. More fire rate, lovely. We've got two HP ups there, but don't really think it's all that necessary. We are going to be speeding through the rest of this floor, I think. The rest of this run, even, to be honest. The fool we got. I guess we'll grab it. Uh, I don't really think we need it for anything, but I guess we'll grab it. We've got crits going off like crazy as well. We've only got one look, so the crits shouldn't be super common, but we're getting them a good amount because our fire rate is so high. And we get effigy, which is the other effigy. Um, this effigy is actually pretty good. Right, I think we just go here. We will check out the shop, actually. Why not? Red stew is the sort of thing we want. Um, weapon beggar I don't really care for at this stage. Beautiful stuff. Check this out. Um, don't think there's much here that we care for. While the uh, Capres is active, damage um, and lower speed, block the first damage taken in a room, becomes activated in the next incomplete room. Uh, is that really what we want? I think I will take this just to suck it up. So we've got health right here. Uh, I was I was also like seeing if it would spawn an additional item because of our um, birthright as well. It's another reason I wanted to do that. But it just also makes our active more useful when we actually come to use it in a boss fight. We can actually use it for damage rather than just stats. There's Effigy doing its thing. Thank you. Almost got the right amount of keys. God damn, the herming on this is so strong. Even with this shot speed, the herming's doing a great job. Look at those crits. The crits plus uh, piercing is really, really nice. I'm noticing. But yeah, we're basically like completely unkillable right now. <laughs> These streak runs have been uh, a real mixed bag. We've been having some runs that are just like right off the bat super overpowered, and then the ones that are a little bit of a struggle seem to just become wildly overpowered as the as the run goes on. But it's all due to min maxing though. It's all due to taking our time, taking risks as well. That golden card was a risk. I mean, we got a five room. Couldn't that just have easily have been a full run reroll, which could have screwed us up? It could have been good, but it could have also screwed us up. Lovely stuff. And unfortunately, neither thing here is that great, so we'll suck it up. And we did get it hurts back, which is kind of nice. I do like that idea as a birthright. I don't think I've ever had birthright as this guy, but it's a cool idea for it. Cool idea for it indeed. Okay. Keep moving along. Yeah, it's it's one of these runs where there's like there's not really much else for me to say. It's just Relax and enjoy the ride, I guess. Um, I, I I was speaking recently in one of my uh, in one of my recent episodes about my D and D session that was upcoming. I've actually done that D and D session now, and it was really good. We've gotten into like a real sort of 
I don't know, but we've kind of like become like proper investigators and we're investigating this like ongoing crime of people being abducted and we're kind of picking up some clues and stuff now and we're, we're really making our way towards what seems to be um what seems to be some sort of I won't say solution but like the next step of, of, of this of this mystery and I'm really enjoying it. we've not been doing a lot of combat but there's been a lot of roleplay stuff and my character is very like heavy on charisma and like I do a lot of illusion and stuff so roleplay is really the sort of thing that I want the more roleplay the better and um our friend Andy, who's been the, the DM, has uh, has very much um, put put focus on doing some uh, Leviathan. Nice. Put focus on doing a lot of role play, and I really like that. It just makes it makes the the whole D and D experience more fun when there's like actually like a valid reason to be in character, um, and it makes it just more enjoyable in general. So uh, yeah, it's been quite fun. We he had been dropping a lot of pretty heavy hints for us that we were clearly missing. So I think towards the end, he was just kind of like. You should be doing this without without directly saying that. He very much put the words in our mouth, and we we tried something that ended up revealing a pretty big secret. So luckily, he um he is helping us out a little bit here. Um, and we're gonna try and carry on that train the next session. I think we're doing the next session later this month as well, which I'm pretty excited for. Um, and I I like one of the things I enjoy about these sessions as well is we have obviously people over at our house. Our house is always for some reason the place that we host. I'm not sure how it's become that, but. I don't mind at all. And one of the things that we tend to do quite a lot is um, we tend to host, um, like, in terms of, like, food and things like that, not just the actual place. So, uh, I, I quite like cooking, so it means I get to cook for everyone, and that's really nice. So last time we did, like, fajitas, um, and next time we'll do Greek food with, like, halloumi and hermit tzatziki and stuff like that. It's going to be pretty marvellous. I'm excited for it. Um... I think I'm going to try and make a ciabatta, which isn't particularly Greek. I know that, like, normally it's flatbreads and stuff, but, like, dipping tzatziki in, um, in a, like, a, a ciabatta in tzatziki seems, like, very, very nice. I'm going to try and make one. I also haven't made one before. Um, so I want to make some. Um, there's, there's a ciabatta I could make, or if I, is it focaccia? Focaccia is the other one. Either one of them two I'd, I'd really like to try and make and see, uh, see how they turn out. Although I don't think I have a deep enough base, like, tray. Because they kind of made in a tray and normally have, like, a pretty deep base. Um, we'll do all of those and just see what we get. We do now have flight, which is nice. There's a luck penny in there. Do you know what? We're early enough in this floor that grabbing some luck is pretty valuable. Let's go and grab the, uh, the two times luck. There you go. Plus, on to five luck now, I think. Makes enough of a difference, right? The only thing about those rooms is, obviously, you can't get a room clear reward for them, so the FG rooms can be a little annoying sometimes. Overall, they're not bad, though. I don't know if it can happen in rooms that would otherwise have bosses, or if it's only rooms that have enemies. I'm not quite sure how it sort of works in that regard. Looks like we're speeding towards the boss, though, here. Just pop up, dude. Yep. Don't waste people's time. Our shot speed has reached uh, levels that are a little too high to handle at the moment. I really think shot speed is one of those things we should... Do like, you know how, like, um, Fire Ray has a cap that can be broken by certain things? Shot speed should definitely be one of those stats that caps out at, like, two. Or 2.5, maybe. But 2 seems like about the right amount to cap out at. Suck, suck, suck it up. Where art thou, boss? There you are. I think you're wrecked, Mr. Boss Man. I don't think there's much you can do. Tech zero on you and all the rest. It's just, it's not going to happen, is it, buddy? It's not going to happen. There you go. Easy peasy. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Another good streak win. And I'll see you guys in the next one.